Okay, so therefore you can actually see this is how you can remove or drop your outliers right easily. And then what if you want to drop two things, right? So you want to say, I want to remove anything that is going to be, um, say bathrooms, right? Is um, going to have more than seven bathrooms. So I consider that as outlier and then you can drop uh, having two conditions and then join them with end and then assign that to two. So now if you look at bathrooms with the new variable that you just assigned x2, you can see that it's all less than you know seven or even the maximum is six, right? So this is how you can drop and you can have many, many conditions, right? Uh, condition one, two, three, four, and then sequence them and combine them all together. So this is one way, quick, a uh, very quick way of, of removing some outliers. And then another way is really a box plot, right? So Seaborn has really easy box plot. What if I want to say, um, look at um, just X. So this will tell me the back, the for every feature, right? What is the box plot? But because the prior sale amount is uh, has a different scale, right? So it's actually really uh, not easy to read. So I will, what I will do is I will just uh, not include that, right? I will split this into two box plot. Uh, I can just copy from the uh, the columns, right? So that's easy for me uh, to not to type it. So I can say, um, so I won't only want to look at the box plot for these um, columns, right? In my feature matrix, right? Mm, okay, this is how you can slice a data frame. Remember two square parentheses. And now let's look at the box plot, right? So lot size is somewhat, it's still kind of like skewing the results where it's not really giving us a good view. So I'll just remove it and look at it again. Okay, uh, wait, uh, what did I do? So by going back, it's command Z, right? So lot size and square footage, I think it's both. Both of them are too big. Uh, year built as well, yeah, I should include it. So let's just say, um, um, bedrooms, bathrooms, and rooms, right? You can actually see, yeah, definitely these are outliers, right? Whenever it's like above 25, definitely in terms of, you know, in, in rooms, then I want to consider as outliers. But typically uh, people do is they will use, uh, you know, some somewhere that's uh, from 25 percentile to 75 uh, fifth percentile. So you only want to include the data points that belong to um, that range, right? Like 25th percentile to 75th percentile. But you can be more flexible, all right, on, on how to pick that cutoff. But I'll say in looking at this, uh, for bedrooms, I think, you know, what we have picked before seven is a good cutoff, right? Seven, uh, and then uh, bathroom is, you know, I think seven um, is a good cutoff as well. And then for rooms, I will say 20, you know, that's kind of like a good cutoff. So then we can go ahead and remove all of that. So, and then let's look at, you know, square footage. The other features that we didn't include, right, uh, in our box plot initially. So uh, in here is a square footage and lot size. So that's the name of the field. And then let's look at these two together. So yeah, definitely it's, it has many, many, you know, outliers in here. So anything that's above 50,000, I will say, yeah, it's, um, it's outlier. So let's just look at the square footage first. Um, I will say square footage 4,000, that's where I can draw the line. Um, and then what if I want to look at the lot size alone, right? And then, yeah, definitely I can see it's anywhere, you know, that's about 40,000. It's a good cutoff. So I want to then remove the data points that reside in this area that are you know in here and then treat them as outliers, right? So you can actually play with this, you know, one by one, look at it, or uh, you can have a combined view, right, of more than one variables and really to test uh, which one you should, um, where you should draw the line, right? You can look at different permutations of features to determine that. Um, but today, I think we're just gonna, you know, use box plot as well as uh, three sigma rules. These two as the primary 
uh, ways to detect outliers, and um, and we can remove the outliers, right? So that our models won't get affected uh, by these outliers. And a good uh, way of looking at this is if you do have many many outliers, it could be just that you need to reposition your problem into outlier or anomaly detection. So you're gonna have perhaps two models. One is uh, the model that you're going to be using for your uh, uh, major uh, data points or major scenarios, and the other is um, for outliers. So you're going to have uh, two models, uh, and each will have its own purpose, right? So that might be a good uh, example as well.